Hey guys, so this is yet another problem from other circuits. This problem name is ages on a path. So yeah, before before yeah, actually let, let's read the problem statement first. So given a connected graph with node n nodes and m ages, where m is less than n, and that is the number of ages are less than the number of nodes are equals to the number of nodes. You are given two nodes as well, like a and b in the graph. And what we need to find is the number of ages which are present in all the paths between A and B. So basically, we need to find. So there can be a um, number of paths from A to B, node A to node B. And what we need to find is uh, one particular uh, the count of that particular ages, those particular ages, which will be present in all these paths. So in other words, what we can say is this particular path is. Uh, is kind of bridge this particular edge is kind of bridge to all these paths like all of the paths has to go through this way and if we remove this particular edge the there is no longer uh, I mean we won't be any longer able to go from node A to node B so this problem is basically very much similar to for finding the bridges in a problem uh, in a graph and there is a very nice video about this particular problem uh, by code and code channel i i'll upload that particular video in the description below so i'll highly highly recommend all of you to first watch that particular video it is a there he has very nicely explained the problem uh, i mean how we can find uh, bridges in, a, in 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 the graph uh, using the back edge and a forward edge uh, logic and also the in time and the lowest ancestor logic so yeah so basically i will highly first recommend you to watch that particular video if you have already watched that uh, this uh, then it will be very easy for you and i'm not going to explain you the logic there and that's why this video is going to be very short one i'll just uh, let you know how can we simply modify that approach a little bit and get the answer here using the same approach uh, which is explained in that particular video so yeah, uh, I'm assuming we all know about the back edges and the forward edges and the in time of a particular node and the lowest ancestor of the particular node. So uh, with that, uh, what I'm gonna say is, so basically, uh, as you have seen in that video, you, we are um, storing all this information in different uh, arrays. And one more extra information that I'm gonna store to find out an our number of uh, find out the answer in our case, and that is the out time of the each node. So basically, in that video, we are storing all. We are telling you that we are storing all the in time. That is the first time when and um, when we entered a node, and the lowest ancestor that we have for that particular node, <coughs> and then uh, yeah, no, so this uh out time uh, i what i'm gonna add is basically something let me just show you the code itself which will so basically this whole part is very much similar there is extra line which i have added is that uh, out time when this uh, all these sub childs of this particular node are visited then the out time is also recorded in the out of node and then this was the part where this uh, is called uh, basically uh, a bridge edge that means this is a bridge and here only I have just added this particular condition and this will increase our, our global answer so basically this condition is that if the if we are in a in a state where uh, the in time of the adjacent node is less than the B so basically what I've done is I have made the I mean we are recording all these ages here and A and B are the nodes where we need to find the paths and I've made A as a source like the root we can choose anyone so I've just chosen A so for this particular part uh, because now we know that this particular edge that node till edge this uh, adjacent vertex vertex that means the these two uh, the edge between these two endpoint is a bridge and what we need to just find out whether this edge is basically lying in the path from a to b or not and for that i'm just checking whether the end of this any like the adjacent the in time of the adjacent node should be less than the in time of b 
that means we have entered b uh, and uh, this node was also visited but then out time of adjacent should be after the out time of b that means we have not uh, visited uh, b till now we, we haven't uh, like left this particular node till now we have just uh, visited b only so if i just try to draw that let me try to draw this particular fact so basically if we have some nodes here and let me just say we want to find the path from here to here this particular node then all the in when we record the in time this will go something like this this and then here and then we'll go again here and then from there it will go till here and then we'll go here then here and then here so you see when i'm going down this is where i'll record it in the in time of this node and this is where i'll record the in time of this particular node then i'll also record the out time of this node that means this particular time only then this out time of uh, no yeah then i'll go and record the in time of this particular node then out time of this particular node only then the out time for this particular node and then i'll come back to this node and then i'll record the in time and out time for this node then uh, yeah before that i have also recorded the in time for this node then i'll go inside this one so basically if we are interested in finding out the path from here to here we could have seen that this 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 uh, are lying in the same path this particular path is in this uh, we are interested in and uh, this we should i mean until we have left this one the, the out time for this one should always be greater than the out time for this one because we will first visit this one and then we will visit this one and the in time for this one should be greater than the in time of this one so we will visit only this one uh, uh i mean only this one only after we have visited this one all right so and for any other uh, you'll check this uh, condition does not hold true because uh, the in time for this particular node is indeed before this in time of this particular node but the out time is also before so out time is not greater than as in case of this one similarly for any of these nodes here and here the in time itself is uh, greater than the in time of this node so this anyway is not also in the same path so now we know that uh, this node this node and these two node three nodes are lying the same path and this we can find out using the out time uh, information so yeah i hope it's uh, much clearer now uh, and uh, yeah it was a very straightforward uh, application of this uh, particular logic to find out the bridges in the graph it was just that uh, using the out time information as well to find whether this uh, particular edge which is a bridge is also lying in the path from a to b or not so yeah, and the rest of the logic is very straightforward so yeah, i hope i was able to explain you guys properly and uh, yeah if there is any comments or feedback for me in regarding this video please let me know in the comment section below there are a bunch of other videos which i have made uh, those are very interesting ones as well so please do check out those video and do like and subscribe to my channel if you like my work thanks